I am here in front of you to discuss 2016 chapter paper, second question. In the A part, you are pointed, invertebrates are separated into phyla based on their features. In the syllabus, we have these invertebrate phyla. They use that word, you see, invertebrate phyla. These are the invertebrate phyla in the syllabus. Celenterata, Annelida, Arthropoda, Mollusca, Echinodermata, Echinodermata. They are invertebrate phyla okay so you are given a table 2016 second structure a part you are given a table multicellular body build up of two germinal layers two germinal layers if you notice this word, it is indicating diploblastic. Diploblastic. So among these, celenterata is diploblastic. All the others are having three germinal layers. They are triploblastic. So the first description belongs to celenterata presence of muscular food if you take a mollusca body a mollusca body is divided to three regions there is a head there is a visceral mass and a muscular Muscular food. So if I use the word muscular food, you have to remember mollusca. So B is mollusca. Third, living only in marine habitats. That is echinodermata. Echinodermata members live only in marine environments. Sealenter is marine and freshwater. These three marine, freshwater, and terrestrial environments. Echidometa is not so only marine. And finally, arthropoda is the one having a chitinous cuticle. These people have used the word cuticle. It is a word they apply for exoskeleton. Exoskeleton. Okay. So that is the answer for the A question Roman number one. A question Roman number two. Name an animal that possesses the feature A given in the above table. A is Diploblastic, sealenterata. Uh, Any sealenterate is okay. You can write hydra, you can write sea anemone, you can write jellyfish. Any one is okay. Right? And question number three write down the kingdom and domain to which phyla stated in one above belong to. Celenterata belongs to Kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia. Animalia, if I have to write. Kingdom Animalia. And the domain Eukarya. Domain Eukarya. 
so that is the answer for the roman number 3 with that one the a part comes to end finishing the a part we are coming to the b part respiration is a process of living organisms first time first question asked at you first question a part state two types of respiration now i am just leaving this hope if you want you can make a copy okay when i am discussing these ones you can get notes you can repeatedly see things and and get an idea that's why it is based on this method okay fine i am erasing it and coming to the uh, b part in the b part uh roman number 1 b part roman number 1 simple a state at which uh, say the two types of respiration that can takes place in organisms my children respiration are two type one it is aerobic respiration it takes place with the presence of molecular oxygen and the other type of respiration is anaerobic respiration anaerobic respiration takes place without the contribution of molecular oxygen that is a part which one of the two types of respiration stated in a above produce more energy without any doubt you can say aerobic respiration anaerobic respiration produces very less energy that's why we human cannot survive with uh, anaerobic respiration second it is you are given the picture the picture uh, you are given a diagram that is the diagram of the experiment okay that you study in your grade 10 right in your grade 10 you study an experiment right uh, you need number you need number 8 right in that one they have used a frog to that experiment but in this case these people have tried a uh, tried some germinating seeds in that experiment instead of instead of a frog there they have used a, this experiment okay according to this experiment uh, you need potassium hydroxide in one bottle lime water in two bottle uh, water in one bottle and a frog in one bottle in this experiment without using uh the frog they are using germinating green gram seeds both the ones are uh, respiration wise same green gram seeds are going to intake the oxygen and release the carbon dioxide so this is the order you have to fix them uh, first should be potassium hydroxide second should be lime water third should be the green gram seeds uh, next again lime water uh, kept with the water that bottle should be in the last so according to the pictures given to you uh, the water is there koh is there lime water one bottle is there so a should be filled with a uh, lime water so question number uh, simple a what is the solution that should be put into the bottle a you have to write lime water second one after putting the relevant solution into the bottle a write down the correct sequence in which the above bottle should be fixed so confirmly confirmly e should be fixed in the beginning e is the first one potassium hydroxide after that one lime water should come you can fix a there after a you have to put the green gram seed again you have to put d in the last the tap water b or otherwise e 
D should come here. C, A, B. No problem. Both the ones are right. So this is simple A the answer. Right? So simple B the answer. Simple B the answer. A is lime water. A is lime water. You have already answered it. Now coming to the C question. State what should be done after connecting all the bottles correctly. You have to open the tap. You have to open the tap. If you open the tap, then only the air will start to flow. So you have to open the tap. Okay. That's the thing you have to do. Then automatically the water will start to flow out. D part. After the step mentioned in C above, state the change that could be observed in uh, step A. So what are the changes? One change, the change you will observe is, the change you will observe is, the lime water, the lime water in the fourth bottle, in the fourth bottle will become, will become milky. Okay, milky. That is your answer. Lime water in the uh, fourth bottle going in a uh, their case. Lime water in bottle in bottle four will become milky will be your answer. Okay? And uh, it's not coming straight. Right. Last question. State the change that should be done to the above setup to arrange a control setup. Control setup means here to release the carbon dioxide something is there. No? There to release the carbon dioxide no one should be there. Okay, one choice it is, you can keep some dead seeds there. That means take some green gram seed, will boil it and keep it. Now they are dead. Non-living ones, no, they will not breathe. They will not send any carbon dioxide. That is one way. That is the best way. Boil the green gram seeds and keep. Okay, so if you have one for living, other one is not living one. Understood? Fine. So this is, the discussion of the uh, third second structure inshallah tomorrow uh, i will meet you with the third structure do and send me the third structure okay i will send you the discussion in the video form by tomorrow jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh